FDA approval of Provenge would make it the first therapeutic cancer vaccine in the U.S., validating the concept of using the body's own immune cells to treat cancer. It generates a lot of hope for our patients, and it generates a lot of hope amongst uh, physicians that we have another treatment for the treatment of advanced prostate cancer. Here's how it works. The treatment is tailor-made for each patient. Immune cells are taken from the bloodstream, sent to a lab, and mixed with a protein found in prostate cancer. Those immune cells, now primed to attack the cancer, are then injected back into the body where they help destroy the tumor. This works. Um, it, you know, it prolongs survival. It's taken 20 years of research and controversial battles to get to this point. Provenge now. In 2007, the makers of Provenge, and many patients, expected approval. But the FDA was not convinced and demanded further research. The studies have been very mixed, and I think there's a lot of confusion about whether this really works well enough uh, to be useful or not. The makers of Provenge believe they've shown the FDA the treatment helps men with advanced prostate cancer live longer. The company has reported that a study of over 500 patients shows those getting the vaccine survive 4.1 months longer than those taking placebo. This is not a prevention of cancer. This is a treatment of cancer. It will be used for patients with established and advanced cancer. Side effects are reportedly mild, but the price will be high. Treatment is expected to cost up to $100,000 a year. Though its benefits may appear modest, the hope is this approach will open up a new way of treating cancer. It's clear that immune therapies can have some effect, but whether they can be harnessed well enough to make a big impact and uh, be used with, in a variety of cancers, I think there's still a lot of uh, uncertainty in that. Researchers are also working on vaccines against other types of cancers like melanoma, brain and pancreatic, but those vaccines are still in development, Katie. This particular vaccine, John, extends the life of patients, what, four months, as you said, a little over four months, which of course is a huge gift for them. But considering the cost, is this vaccine worth it? That's a tough one, as you say. For that patient, those four months may be very, very important. But also remember that new treatments are often tried on the sickest patients first. And the hope is that eventually they'll be tried on people who aren't quite as sick. And maybe in those people, they'll extend the life more than four months only. All right. Dr. John LaPook, as always, John, thanks so much.